hi girls, what did we get today? What did we get today? What is it? What do you think it is? What do you think it is, girls? What do you think it is, girls? What up guys, my Long Six here, and in this video I actually got the cell indoor uh radio thing to be able to make my Freedom Fi a 5G minor. So uh, yeah, let's dive right in and see if the girls would like to help me open it. Girl, what's in it? Come on. All right, girls. All right, so this was shipped by UPS. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey, Coco. Oh, hey, Snowball. Oh my gosh, what do you girls want? Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, that, those are scissors. Oh, she doesn't like that noise. Come here, girls. Oh, this thing looks awesome. Look at that thing. So this is distributed by Cowchip, um, and I got it off of the waiting list. So let's just take a moment and look at this box. All right, girls, we need to open up this box now, okay? Snowball, you want to help me? You want to help me? Stay away from the scissors, okay? All right, good girl. Okay, I don't think I need the scissors, but I might be wrong. What do you think's in here, girls? Well, it should be this uh, indoor CBRS cell unit. So, yeah, that's what it should be, girls. The indoor cell unit. Let's take a look. Oh gosh, it's actually kind of heavy. I didn't expect it to be heavy, honestly. And I did not expect it to look like this. I thought it was like a big circle or something. Ooh. Let's take a look at the back here. So it says GPS, power, LAN, WAN. Hmm. Okay, and I'm sure there's a charger in here and a way to connect to the hotspot. Yeah. A mounting bracket, I believe. Uh, Ethernet cord. It looks like the GPS part, and then it will ping on the end of that, I'm assuming. It looks like you can uh, tack it to the wall in the back. And the uh, power cord. All right, sweet. Um, let's go ahead and let me show you how to set this thing up. Alright, so to set up the indoor cell unit is actually pretty, pretty easy. In fact, on the website it says that it's basically plug and play. You don't really need a manual. So I'm going to show you how to do it today because it is a little confusing if you've never done it before. So basically what you're going to do is have your Freedom Fi already set up. So remember, you need to screw in a lower RAM antenna first into the Freedom Fi, and then the Ethernet, and then plug it in, and then it'll make that beep. The red light will come on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video. And uh, after that, you're gonna need to set up your Freedom Fi indoor cell hotspot. So what you're gonna do is, to set up the 5G hotspot, you're gonna need to take the Ethernet cable that they gave you, or a Ethernet cable, plug it in to the back, of the Freedom Fi hotspot. The side with the smiley face is for lower WAN, and in the back it's for 5G. So plug it into ENB1. Go ahead and plug it into number one. Um, make sure this blue one right here is connected to my router. Uh, this one's going to the 5G, and this is the power for the Freedom Fi. All right, so next we take it from number one here and plug it in right here to WAN. W-A-N, plug it in right there. After that, you're gonna plug in the 5G antenna. So go ahead and put it in the GPS port right here. And after that, you can plug in the power. So plug in the power, and the power plugs in separately. And there you go, you'll see that it's starting to blink up. It says it has power. When it says it's connected to WAN, that means it's connected to your hotspot so sync means you're connected to the 5g 
And then uh, LTE means you're connected to the actual cell tower uh, to get the 5G. I'm in a uh, rural area, so I don't know if I'll have 5G in this area. But in the future, I plan to post a video where I'm pretty sure there will be 5G. And then uh, in my monthly mining videos, I'll let you know how much this miner is actually making. Also, I heard that Nebra is coming out with a 5G unit of their own, so stay tuned for that because I'll be making a video about that. So now let's go over mounting real quick. So this can go on the ceiling or the wall, and it does come with screws. Um, what you want to do is make sure you put this against the wall like this and then make sure that these are facing mm -hmm. upwards, okay? Mm -hmm. Hi Snowball, you being a good girl. What you're going to do is simply slide it in here and then you're going to slide it up like that and it'll get locked in place. You can do it on the ceiling or on the wall. Real simple. And then it will come with this red sticky thing. For this red sticky thing, all you'll need to do is uh, put it on the actual antenna here and just line up the holes. The red part is the more sticky side and uh, then you can just stick it to the wall or ceiling if you wanted to. All right, um, let's go ahead and go back to the computer and talk about this a little bit. All right, guys, so uh, I just wanted to share with you quickly how I actually went through the process of buying this thing. First, I had to uh, get on the wait list, which you can do at freedomfy.com. And uh, then I had to uh, pay $1,500 uh, plus shipping. And um, then I was able to uh, get this. And uh, as well, I was able to get a... 5g e sim card awesome. so we'll take a look at that later guys in another episode and uh, see how this works and stuff what i think i'm going to do is actually take this uh freedom Fi and five indoor small cell unit and uh replace the unit that i did in this video where i added a i believe an 8 dbi antenna and uh yeah we'll definitely check that out so i want to share with you guys some frequently asked questions with this indoor unit uh so let's take a look at some of those so uh, one of the things is, will this actually uh, produce more helium tokens for mining? At this moment, no, it does not until after HIP 37, which is basically tackling the economic incentives to implement proof of coverage for cellular and Wi-Fi data. So basically kind of like separating between LoRaWAN and uh, 5G type of incentives people with 5g will have their own mining incentives um and a certain amount of helium tokens pushed aside just for 5g and another set pushed to the side just for lower land so something like that is being voted on right now and also keep in mind that only phones with compatible 5g can use this at the moment so there's a gig sky um there's also dish network and if you're lucky enough you could have gotten a freedom Fi test sim card uh just to test it out but right now current partners do not yet include at&t t-mobile or verizon maybe in the future they can work something out i'm not sure and then for the indoor small cell unit to auto provision and start working it needs to be placed in a location where it can get 5g lock the so one thing i wanted you guys to keep in mind is that, that when providing 5g or 4g to uh, cellular devices the, the radio waves that, that this indoor sin only goes about three times the area of wi-fi instead of going for miles like lorwan would with long five so uh, do I need to make sure that it's possible to get a GPS lock at the location I plan to install the indoor cellular antenna? Yes. For the cellular antenna to start radiating signal, it will need to get a GPS lock. There are several free phone apps you can download to check for GPS reception at a particular location. If you plan to install at a location with no GPS signal, activating your antenna will require remote CPI certification and will have an additional fee of $100. If you want to do this, please contact FreedomFi about how to act actually do this. 
So in order to get the GPS lock, what you're gonna to need to do is put the little antenna thing that they gave you, and it's actually magnetic, I didn't know that, so that's kind of cool. And go ahead and put it out in your window and wait a few minutes, and then we'll see if you can get a GPS lock. If you can get a GPS location on like your Google Maps or Apple Maps or something, then if it can find your location, then you should be able to get a GPS lock Lock, no problem so it took about five minutes for the sync light to turn on and right now I'm still waiting to see if I can get LTE in this area or not all right after another five minutes I got LTE blue light flashing I didn't know it'd be blue so it's kind of cool and yeah so that's basically it it's actually pretty simple to set this thing up leave questions in the comments down below maybe I can make videos on some of your questions so give me some video ideas with this stay tuned because in the future I will be upgrading this helium hot spot with this freedom Fi and the indoor small cell and uh, don't forget that once a month at the beginning of the month I do uh, crypto earning update videos and let you guys know how much my helium hotspots and other crypto miners have been doing anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it helpful and as always stay safe stay active stay healthy god bless peace How in the world do you open this box? <laughs>